Dollar Tree Gourmet. That's right, Dollar Tree Gourmet, where you can make gourmet meals out of ingredients that you can find at the Dollar Tree. So tonight I'm going to be making a loaded baked potato soup. It's not actually a baked potato soup because the potatoes aren't going to be baked, but it's going to have that wonderful baked potato flavor that everybody loves, and of course lots of cheese and bacon to go along with it. So for this recipe, you're going to need the following ingredients. Some chicken stock. Here I have the Swanson unsalted chicken stock, but if you can't find unsalted, salted is totally fine because we're definitely going to be adding a lot of salt to this dish. Not a lot, but we're going to be adding quite a bit to, um, to flavor the dish. So if you can find salted, if you prefer that, that's no problem at all. I just happen to have unsalted on hand that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I also have here a can of whole white potatoes, a can of evaporated milk, here I have a serving of mashed potato flakes. Now these came in, this was a Velveeta packet, so this is a packet of cheese that came with it. These came two to a box, uh, two servings like this, and it was found at the Dollar Tree as well. Um, I went ahead and made the other ones, but I, I threw away the box because it was taking up too much room in my cabinet. So I have here this packet, which is the Velveeta cheese that you put into the mashed potatoes, and this is just a mashed potato packet. If you cannot find uh, this Velveeta packet in your Dollar Tree or anywhere, that's completely fine. Um, just go ahead and get regular mashed potato flakes. You're going to need about a cup, maybe a cup and a half. And then I, uh, if you don't want the cheese packet, that's fine too. You can throw in shredded cheese. That's going to work actually just as well, if not better. Um, I'm just going to use this because this is what I have on hand. But if you want to throw in some extra cheese, uh, just pick up another uh, bag of cheese like this, which is actually our next ingredient. Just a small bag of mild shredded cheddar cheese. Next I have here some turkey bacon. Um, if you want to use regular pork bacon, I don't know if they sell it there, but if you can find it, by all means, go right ahead. I use turkey because that's what I prefer. I also have some minced garlic, and then finally just some salt and pepper, and of course some cooking oil. All right guys, let's get started. The first step in making this recipe is gonna be dicing up our potatoes and then our bacon. So for the potatoes, I went ahead and opened this can, and the potatoes inside look kind of like this. They're shaped like a I don't even know what size this would be, maybe like a large, large grape. So what I've done here is gone ahead and diced up the whole can into bite-sized chunks, and I'll show you how I did that. I just cut them right in half, and then down the middle a couple times, just like that. And I'll try to show you, they're a little hard to see because they're white, but the size chunks that we're looking for is literally maybe the size of like a quarter or even a large like nickel, so around that size right there. So I went ahead and cut up the entire can. As you can see, I've got it in this bowl here. So next we'll move on to our bacon. All right guys, so I've got the entire package of bacon here. The one thing about the ones that do come from the Dollar Tree is that they are, uh, there's a few less slices than a normal pack of bacon. It's a little bit smaller. So this actually is about 10 slices of bacon here. I'm gonna go ahead and use the whole package because we really like it. It's turkey bacon, so it's not quite as fattening um, or as unhealthy as regular bacon is. So I'm gonna use the whole package. It's got that nice smoky flavor that's really gonna help accentuate our soup. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the whole package here. And what I'm gonna do is just leave the pack intact like that. I just pulled it out of the plastic and just kind of run my knife through it, just like this. I know you guys can't see, but what it does, if you cut through all the slices, it leaves you with these small, chunks of bacon, just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and separate those out, place them into a bowl, and I'm going to finish cutting this up and then I'll show you what the next step is. Okay, so I've got our bacon all fried up here in the pan. I'm going to pull it out to show you. Um, what you want to do is after you fry this, and I fried this over maybe medium, not medium high heat, but kind of halfway in between, just for about seven or eight minutes and it crisped up so nicely. I don't know if you can see, um, but it's nice and crispy and dark there. So go ahead and pull all of it out of the pan. And after that, we're going to go ahead and make our soup base, and I'll show you how that works next. Now that our chicken stock is up to a simmer, I'm going to go ahead and add some of this evaporated milk. Um, I'm going to add, let me see, probably using about half a can here. Just go ahead and add that in, and then keep it aside. You may need to add a little bit more later, depending on how thick they get, once you put in your instant mashed potatoes. So go ahead and let that come back up to a simmer, and once it does, we're gonna be adding our instant mashed potatoes. I actually turned my heat back up to medium for this. Now we have our chicken stock uh, simmering with our evaporated milk, and I've also seasoned this up with salt and pepper to taste. The next thing I'm gonna do is add to my chicken broth and evaporated milk mixture the instant mashed potatoes. I already cut the little top off here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle those in. All right, there's about half the bag there. And when you're making this recipe, guys, 
especially potato soup with instant mashed potatoes, you want to keep some extra liquids on hand. If you do run out of chicken broth, you can also use water or any other um, you know liquid that you prefer in your soup. But again, this will thicken up pretty quickly with this in the instant mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest here. Let those dissolve, and then I will show you guys the next step. Okay, so I I've added my mashed potatoes. This has been simmering for about uh, I don't know two to three minutes and the consistency is extremely thick so it's actually a little bit thicker than I want it to be so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add the rest of our chicken broth here and I actually may need to add a little water to this it thickened up very very fast so I'm just gonna finish this carton off okay that actually made it much a much better consistency but I do know that this is going to cook a little while longer maybe another five to ten minutes I turned my heat down um, to medium low I'm going to turn it down a little bit more because um, we're not actually cooking anything at this point we're just kind of warming things up everything that we're using at this point on is actually already cooked so I've got it down to medium low and as you can see the consistency here is a little bit more soupy it's a nice thick potato soup like consistency so that's awesome but what I want to do is next add, I'm going to add this little cheese packet that came with the Velveeta mashed potatoes. Um, again, if you don't have this, it's completely fine. Just throw, just throw a handful of cheese, like grated cheddar in there. And we're looking for that cheese flavor, you know, to go throughout the soup. That's, that's really what we're looking for. So whether you have this or, you know, regular instant mashed potatoes, it's no problem. Just add some cheese, whatever format it may be in, and just stir that around. Get that completely incorporated into the soup, and then we're gonna move on to the next step. We're almost done, guys. All right, you guys, holy guacamole, seriously. I just tasted our soup. Um, it's been simmering for about five more minutes, and literally, it's a perfect consistency. I ended up adding the rest of our evaporated milk as well as the chicken broth. So I used the entire bottle and can for both of those compared to one packet of the instant mashed potatoes. Um, the flavor in here, guys, is out of control. It is so, so, so good. So the final steps to this is just going to be adding our potatoes. You want to put these in at the last minute, especially if they're canned, um, because they are already fully cooked and they're going to break down really quickly. So I've got this over medium-low heat. I'm going to just add, add that complete can of the diced potatoes or the canned potatoes that I diced up earlier. The potatoes are going to just give a lot more substance to our soup, so if you're using this as a dinner, such as I am tonight, I'm just going to serve this with like a very simple green salad on the side. Um, it's going to give a lot more, you know, sustenance. You can serve a lot of people with the soup. I would venture to say this would probably serve six people easily for dinner. The next thing is we're going to take that bacon that we cooked earlier, add about three quarters of it. Um, I'm going to save actually a little bit to garnish the tops with, so just stir that right in. And then let that simmer another maybe five minutes or so just to kind of let the flavor of the bacon incorporate the potatoes kind of warm up and get you know happy all in there with everything else and then we're ready to serve this dish you guys this is literally one of the most amazing things i'm i'm like impressed with myself right now i don't know how to say this but i sound super like that sounds crazy but no seriously it's unbelievable that this is made with Dollar Tree ingredients because this is so, so good. If you've ever had um, potato soup from maybe Outback or anything like that, I honestly would venture to say that this beats that out. Not even kidding. I'll be back in about five minutes to show you how we're going to serve this up. It is so good. I am literally just, I cannot wait to eat this. So, yay! So our soup has been simmering for about five more minutes. After I put in the potatoes and bacon, how I'm going to serve this is very, very simply. I've got these little soup mugs here. I'm gonna ladle some soup in. All right, guys, so I've got both of our bowls full of soup. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of a close-up shot here for you guys so you can see what this looks like. It is just literally, oh, it is so delicious. I can't even tell you how good this is. It's got that smoky bacon in there, those chunks of potatoes, the cheesiness from that cheese sauce. And if you don't have cheese sauce, again, guys, just throw in a handful of shredded cheddar or whatever kind of cheese you have on hand. It is just so, so, so good. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do to garnish this soup is just sprinkle a little bit more cheddar over the top of it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is such a treat. Ah, it's so good. Finally, I'm just gonna garnish with a few more of the bacon pieces that we fried up earlier. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> wowza, wowza, wowza. All 
All right, so there you have it. It is our loaded baked potato soup. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you do like my videos, please do subscribe, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye. I cannot wait to eat this, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's so good.